step back into the world of 77 Sunset Strip, a classic TV series that made its mark on the entertainment scene in 1958. The show, blending private eye drama with Hollywood glam, quickly became a symbol of timeless television. What makes this series unforgettable? Is it the clever banter between characters or the mysteries they solve? Perhaps it's the stylish backdrop of Los Angeles taking viewers to a bygone era. As you watch, keep an eye out for the funny, shocking, and even sad moments that promise a memorable viewing experience. Do you have a special memory connected to this TV series? Maybe it's a cozy family night around the television or a personal connection to one of the characters. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear about the moments that made 77 Sunset Strip special for you. So buckle up for a trip down memory lane and rediscover the allure of this series. Your cherished memories or personal experiences await and we're eager to hear them. Share your thoughts below and let's celebrate the lasting influence of 77 Sunset Strip together. Step into the world of 77 Sunset Strip, a groundbreaking TV series from 1958 that made a lasting impact on entertainment. Imagine the glitz of Hollywood seamlessly blending with private eye drama, creating a unique TV legacy. As you dive into the show, you're transported to the lively streets of 1950s Los Angeles. What makes 77 Sunset Strip special is not just its mysteries and clever banter, but its ability to capture the essence of a dynamic time. What sets the series apart is its personal connection with audiences. It's more than just a show, it's a reflection of the TV culture in the late 1950s. For many, it brings back memories of family nights around the TV, creating a shared experience etched in personal history. The show's versatility, with its mix of humor, shock, and poignant moments, ensures an engaging viewing experience. Rediscover the series not just as a part of TV history, but as a reflection of human connection and storytelling intricacies. Do you have a special memory connected to 77 Sunset Strip? Maybe a cherished character or a moment that left a lasting impact? Share your thoughts below and be part of the collective celebration of this series. Let's explore and appreciate the lasting influence of 77 Sunset Strip together. Against the backdrop of the 1950s, a transformative era filled with post-war optimism and the rising influence of American pop culture, the TV series 77 Sunset Strip emerged as a reflection of its time. This groundbreaking show was deeply rooted in the cultural scene of the late 1950s, characterized by the glamour of Hollywood and the prevalent theme of private eye drama. Viewers engrossed in the unfolding mysteries and clever banter found themselves transported to the lively streets of 1950s Los Angeles. The charm of this series lies not only in its engaging stories, but also in its ability to capture the essence of a dynamic time. Beyond mere entertainment, the show became a communal experience woven into the personal histories of families, transcending the boundaries of traditional TV. What distinguishes 77 Sunset Strip is its strong connection with audiences. It goes beyond being just a television series, it became a shared experience ingrained in the memories of families. The show's versatility, seamlessly blending humor, surprises, and heartfelt moments, ensured an immersive and collective viewing experience. For many, 77 Sunset Strip brings back fond memories of family nights around the television, creating a shared connection that stands the test of time. The characters and plot twists became touchstones in the collective consciousness, leaving a lasting impression on the viewers. In essence, the series provides a lens to explore not only the intricacies of storytelling in the late 1950s, but also the shared human experiences it mirrored. Its significance extends beyond the screen, resonating with a nostalgia for a bygone era while offering a timeless glimpse into the complexities of human connection. So, as we rediscover the allure of this TV gem, let's not see it as a relic of TV history, but as a captivating chapter in the larger narrative of our cultural evolution. Share your thoughts and memories below, and let's celebrate the lasting influence of this beloved series together. In 1959, Ed Burns, who played the character Kooky in the TV series, leveraged his character's popularity by releasing a record album titled Kooky Star of 77 Sunset Strip. The album featured the hit single Kooky Kooky Lend Me Your Comb, a collaboration with Connie Stevens from the show's sister series, Hawaiian Eye. This catchy single climbed to number four on the popular charts, showcasing the show's influence beyond the TV screen. Stuart Bailey, a central character in the series, originated from one novel and three short stories written by series creator Roy Huggins. 
Initially introduced in Huggins' I Love Trouble, Stuart Bailey made his on-screen debut portrayed by Franchot Tone. This highlights the depth of character development and storytelling roots in the show's foundation. Sponsors played a significant role in shaping the show's identity, with notable brands like Anison Aspirin, Search Breath Mints boasting the golden drop of Ritzin, and Salem Cigarettes associating themselves with the series. These endorsements not only added authenticity to the show, but also reflected the advertising scene of the late 1950s. As viewers immersed themselves in the mysteries and drama, they were subtly exposed to the cultural nuances of the time through the integration of these sponsors. The show became a conduit for not only entertainment, but also a reflection of the prevailing consumer culture, creating a unique viewing experience. In summary, the influence of the show extended beyond the small screen. From chart-topping music associated with it to carefully crafted characters rooted in literary origins and the impactful presence of sponsors, the series left a lasting impression on the entertainment of the late 1950s. In the final season, Jack Webb and William Conrad took over creative control of the series. They changed the entire cast except for Ephraim Zimbalist Jr., who played Stuart Bailey. They turned Bailey into an international spy. The series featured Dino's Lodge, a well-known place where the Frankie Ortega Trio, a jazz band signed with Warner Brothers Records, performed. The trio played at the real Dino's Lodge in Los Angeles, owned by Dean Martin, until it was torn down in 1989. This added a musical touch to the show's atmosphere. Dean Martin owned Dino's Lodge, which was a real restaurant at 85 and 24 Sunset in Los Angeles. The restaurant was part of the show until it was demolished in 1989. Roy Huggins, the creative mind behind the concept of 77 Sunset Strip, parted ways with Warner Brothers due to an ownership dispute over the show's rights. The pilot episode, not written by Huggins, became Warner Brothers' property, leading to a legal claim dispute. This conflict ultimately led to Huggins' departure from the studio. George Wagner, one of the directors of the series, is credited in an unusual way as George Wagner, with the double G capitalized. The assumption is that Wagner, without providing an explanation, created a hidden riddle for sharp-eyed viewers. The seventh letter of the alphabet is G, and the double uppercase GG corresponds to the number 77, adding a cryptic touch to the credits. In the sixth season, the office where Stuart Bailey worked was located in the Bradbury Building, a landmark in Los Angeles, California. This change in setting added a unique touch to the series, incorporating a well-known location into the narrative. The show underwent significant transformations in its final season when Jack Webb and William Conrad took creative control. They revamped the cast, keeping only Ephraim Zimbalist Jr., who portrayed Stuart Bailey, and turned the character into an international spy. Dino's Lodge, a real restaurant owned by Dean Martin, played a role in the series, providing a musical atmosphere until its demolition in 1989. These behind-the-scenes aspects, from ownership disputes to hidden credits riddles and changes in settings, contribute to the intrigue surrounding the production of 77 Sunset Strip. Each element adds layers to the series' narrative, reflecting the dynamic nature of its creation and evolution.